it's that time that we cross over live to Kisumu County where Willis, the word master, has tonight's pronunciation lesson. Willis, good evening. Good evening, Betty. How are you? I'm great, Willis. Now, Willis, before we start, you have to see this. An impersonator going by the name Quellis, the Sheng Master. Take a look at this. Thank you, Betty, uh, Freddy. Uh, I allow me to correct you with a ftiach, not futiach, not fitiach, ftiach. There is no intrusive vowel in between f and tiach, so it's ftiach. Now, Willis, what do you think about that? <laughs> He's actually studied you from the specs to the words, you know, diphthong and all these things. I, I, you're, you're such a big deal when you start getting impersonators. <laughs> well, quite creative. Uh, but uh, you know what I've just seen missing there is the stubborn uh, earphone. But quite creative <laughs> anyway and quite a thought. <laughs> all right, we'll check him out. Probably we'll put you up. Uh, together to see what can come out of uh, you know Sheng and English you know combined. All right, let's start with tonight's lesson. And um, I met a couple of students who are very eager to learn. Do we say sacred heart or sacred heart? Oh, Betty, we say sacred, sacred. The word appears to be sacred, mm -hmm. but we say sacred, mm -hmm. sacred heart. Mm -hmm. Quite a number of English words are sometimes mistaken in terms of the correct, standard, acceptable, or good pronunciation. So in this case, we say sacred heart. All right, thank you for that. Let's move on. Do we say we worship the Almighty or do we say we <coughs> worship the Almighty? Well, quite commonly, under what we call the standard, acceptable, or correct pronunciation, we should say wa. W O R takes the sounding wa. Wow. Worship. Mm -hmm. But saying worship is not bad. But what we should also remember is we don't say what. What. We mm -hmm. say what. Just like we also say worthy. Mm -hmm. Worthy, not worthy. Mm -hmm. We also say work. Work, mm -hmm. not walk. Mm -hmm. And was was not was mm -hmm. all right i bet it also goes for warm not warm <laughs> that is it betty we say warm not warm some even say to the warm no uh -huh. the uh -huh. warm the warm. warm all right i like it when you give us more examples all right let's continue what do you call that container that uh, you used to put flowers is it a vase or a vase the British English has it as vase, vase, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a long front low vowel R, mm -hmm. vase, not vase mm -hmm. or vase, which is used in American English. American right. English, vase, vase, but mm -hmm. when we talk about the English English, we mm -hmm. talk about here vase of flowers. All right. Very tricky. All right, a vase of flowers. All right, let's move on to some names. People's names, actually, that, you know, have varied pronunciations. Um, is it Anthony or Anthony? No, we don't say Tony. Anthony, mm -hmm. no. Mm -hmm. The TH is not pronounced like a digraph in that word or mm -hmm. in that name. We mm -hmm. say Anthony because H is mm -hmm. silent. Just mm -hmm. like in the name Esther. Mm -hmm. Esther. We don't say Esther. Mm -hmm. We also say Thompson, not Thompson. Mm -hmm. And we have the name Sarah. We don't say Sarah. Mm -hmm. We say Amos, not Amos. We also have the word or the name Aaron. Aaron, like okay. Aaron Ringera. <laughs> All right. I'm sure very many people now will have to now start pronouncing the names correctly. All right. Let's move on to a, num a number of other words that have varied pronunciations. Do we say weekend or weekend? And also, do we say cucumber or cucumber? <laughs> we say weekend. 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 That is the British English phonology. That is, we have 
a primary stress at the terminal part of that word end uh -huh. weekend. weekend but when we talk about american pronunciation mm -hmm. we have the primary stress at the mm -hmm. onset that is the beginning of that word so we say weekend uh -huh. but weekend weekend both can just be used so long as you can communicate this is what i always assert mm -hmm. or emphasize when it comes to pronunciations all right willis uh, what about cucumber do we say cucumber or cucumber Right at the beginning of that word, we have the primary stress. Mm -hmm. Cucumber. Cucumber. Mm -hmm. Not cucumber, the All way right. we say it. Cucumber. Okay. Yes. All right. Let's move on to another one. Do we say Catholic or Catholic? Catholic. Mm -hmm. Catholic. Of course, we have letter O, mm -hmm. but by way of elision, that is eliding over that letter O, mm -hmm. we say Catholic. Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. Just like we say chocolate. When we look at the word, mm -hmm. we would say chocolate, but that O, the second O, is elided, mm -hmm. ignored. So you mm -hmm. say chocolate, we also say Catholic. All right. Well, this is not that time that you give us your surprise word or words. <laughs> <laughs> well, many people say onion. Yes, onion. onion. And this may be a bit controversial, Betty. Uh -huh. We say onion. The first O takes the sound <laughs> A. Onion, not onion, onion which wow. we commonly hear of. We also say oven or oven, not oven, the way we <laughs> said it locally. So also the word an owl, not the owl, that is bundi. Mm -hmm. Bundi, an owl, O-W-L. Okay. An owl, an oven, and we talk of an onion, not onion. Wow, Willis, you mean we say oven, not oven. <laughs> I've been saying that all my life and i'm sure so many other people have been saying onion <laughs> onion actually oven <laughs> wow this is, but tonight we have to change all right willis let's move on to our feedback and uh sauce beat and Jaroge is asking do we say clandestine or clandestine betty we say clandestine mm -hmm. clandestine but remember there are words with alternatives we mm -hmm. also say clandestine clandestine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but when we say tin at the end of that word mm -hmm. then the stress comes after clan so we say clandestine all clandestine right. move clandestine move all right at chelotis is asking what how do we pronounce continuity is it is that the, pr the right pronunciation or there's another correct pronunciation for that <laughs> word <laughs> we say continue Continue. But continuity is very tricky because yes. after conti, uh -huh. you say newity, newity, new continuity, new not new continuity. <laughs> continuity. <laughs> very tricky. So wow. stress on newity, continuity. <laughs> continuity. That's a tough one. <laughs> there you are. I look for a synonym and <laughs> use that instead of continuity. <laughs> All right, Willis, it has been great having you tonight. <laughs> Thank you very much for the lesson and uh, looking forward to seeing you next Friday again. <laughs> Okay, we'll uh, meet and uh, the creative person by the name Quelis and Freddy just say <laughs> hi to both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let them know. Thank you very much. Willis the White Master is coming to us live from Kisumu County with tonight's pronunciation lesson. Hope you've gotten a little bit of that, including continuity. Right, that has been Mind Your Language on Friday Briefing.